A solid onboarding process not only sets the tone from your project, but also makes sure that you and your clients are on the same page from day one. I'm Nora Conrad, a freelancer and content creator, and today we're going to talk about something very important to all freelancers, ensuring that your client onboarding process is well established. A well-structured onboarding process ensures that you have clear communication, set expectations, and build client trust. It can significantly reduce misunderstandings with your client as the projects move forward, and it helps you just give a better impression to your clients during those first meetings. Next, we want to create a client onboarding checklist. And naturally, this is going to look a little bit different for every kind of freelancer, depending on the industry that you're in. But this is a template that can help you get started. This includes things like the meeting with the client to first get their business, to contract negotiations, all the way through to impressing them with the onboarding and training documents. Having a comprehensive list from the get-go will ensure that you have everything you need from the client. And there's no hiccups along the project. Take some time to consider what you need during your freelance services and how you can best ask for those things upfront. One uncommon but elegant way to give your clients a little bit of extra customization is to create an onboarding video for them. We use Tello to create personalized video for our clients. These videos allow us to walk through what our clients can expect, our process, and introduce them to key players that they're going to need to know along the process. It's a great way to make your clients feel welcome and informed in a way that doesn't involve reading huge paragraphs of text. During each step of this process, you're going to want to set clear expectations for your clients. Outline your working hours, schedule some communication times, set up meetings, define the project scope, and put the deadlines clearly in a place where they can see them throughout the project. You will also want to make sure that these expectations are documented thoroughly in the contract, in the project scope, and in a client dashboard. There are a ton of different softwares that allow you to do this on the market, but some of the common ones are 17 Hats, Dubsado, and HoneyBook. This transparency can help avoid misunderstandings and just give your clients a little bit more assurance of what is to come. Follow-up and support are also essential to the onboarding process. We want your clients to feel that you are following up with them in a timely manner, that they are being seen, and that their questions are being answered. Setting reminders for yourself to follow up, checking in every day or every two days are great ways to make sure that your client knows that they are important. Providing this ongoing support also shows that you're committed to their success, whether they've signed the contract yet or not. Whether this is an email, a phone call, or just an Instagram voice memo, this is a great way to just check in with your client and make sure they have everything they need, as well as making sure that they're keeping up with deadlines. By having an effective client onboarding process, you can ensure that your projects are moving smoothly. And you can find clients that are a great fit for your business. Creating personalized videos and training documents, establishing a checklist that you use for every single client, and setting clear expectations early on in the process will help you have a great working relationship with all of the people that you come in contact with. If you need help, identifying some client red flags that you may want to spot in this early onboarding process, make sure that you check out our last video. And if you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and check out some of the other content in Creators Essentials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.